What up, y'all? Conscious One coming at you. Yeah, I know I said I was going to stop making YouTube videos, but I did. I stopped for about, I don't know, a week. <laughs> nah, but for real though, when Spirit tell me to do something, when Spirit tell me to talk about something, I do. Or if I have something good to talk about or something, you know, makes sense, I do it. That's the best way to do it. Just speak when you got something to say. That's why a lot of nonsense comes out of people's mouths. They they didn't they not speaking when they supposed to be when they supposed to. But yeah, guys, it's kind of like uh, random topics. But first, let me talk about. It's one thing I learned, guys, is that, and I learn something new every day. Miserable people. A lot of people think that people are miserable because they don't have money. A lot of people have been programmed to think they're miserable if they don't have money. But the truth is, y'all, there's no difference between a poor, miserable person and a rich, miserable person. Man, I, f I, <laughs> I feel sorry for anybody that still haven't learned that yet. Poor people and rich people Got something in common when they're miserable, and that's that they're miserable. There's no difference. You got some people who rich, who alcoholics. They can't cope, and they rich. That's why I come in at because I feel like I can talk to anybody, poor or rich, and if they, you know, looking to get better, I can help them because I know it. it I'm telling y'all, man, it don't matter whether you're poor. So anybody, if you think you're miserable because you don't you because you don't have a lot of money, uh-uh. Mm -mm. Matter of fact, you could be more miserable with this money. Y'all remember that movie uh End Time with Justin Timberlake? And I think somebody had gave somebody an extension, you know, that thing on their wrist that kept making sure they stay alive. Somebody had gave them an extension. Somebody had gave somebody an extension of time. And dude was, basically dude was like, in a nutshell, he was like, basically like, damn, you know, I actually wanted to die. I don't know if y'all caught that in that movie. He was actually looking forward to death and, and somebody came along and gave him an extension of time by giving him a lot of money, which in turn was like credit and that actually upset him so much. I think he committed suicide right on the spot. Dude thought he was helping. That, I don't know if a lot of people caught that, but I'm pretty sure there are other movies that let you know money is not the answer. So if you think money is the answer, that's going to make... No, it's not. It can, it can actually put you in further misery. The only difference between a broke, miserable person and a, and a rich, miserable person is that the rich, miserable person has more toys to make other people miserable. Matter of fact, that's one thing I've noticed about miserable people is that the only thing that can really make them happy is making other people miserable like themselves. Mm -mm, it's not money, y'all. They want to make they want other people to be miserable. So I say again, the only difference between a poor, miserable person and a rich miserable person is that the rich one got more toys like Batman or something to, to or Bruce Wayne to, to have more tactics at their at their use to make other people miserable like them or at least try to. So that's one thing I've been practicing. Something new I've been practicing in my life is avoid miserable, toxic people at all costs, even if it means you got to travel extra mile or two just not to go to a certain place do it whatever you got to do because they toxic man that shit is like a disease it's, a, it's an infectious disease man being miserable is, a, is an infectious disease man <laughs> I just had an instant while I've been trying to get a cup of hot water I strongly encourage people to drink a couple of detox to you every morning you gotta like the way you look too a lot of people they can get out of their misery if they just simply change their diet and when you change your diet 
when you like who you see in the mirror, that's just, that's where you're gonna start from as far as you know how to get out of that miserable. So you got you gotta like yourself, you gotta love yourself. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I'll tell y'all straight up. To not be miserable, the first thing you gotta do, you have to love yourself. It's not other people loving you, it's not other people agreeing with you or be a friend, friends with you. You have to agree with yourself. You have to love yourself. You have to like who you see when you wake up in the morning. Yeah, I'm going to tell y'all straight up. And the best way to do that is to change your diet. So I strongly encourage people to start detoxing. Drink you a cup of detox tea every morning, not coffee. Drink you some, you can drink coffee later in the day, maybe after you eat a meal or something. But in the morning, you should be drinking some detox tea. You know, something that has ingredients in it like, you know, burdock root, dandelion root, milk thistle. You know, stuff like that. Clean up that liver. You know what I'm saying? If you don't have a healthy liver, you, de- you damn sure ain't gonna like the way you look. I'm gonna tell y'all that right now. Clean up that liver. Detox to you every morning. Breakfast. Take a break and fast. Don't eat nothing in the morning. <laughs> take a break and fast. That's what breakfast is. Not stuffing yourself down with pancakes, sausage, and, 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 and uh, eggs people got the shit all wrong but I was trying to get some uh, I, I was trying to get some hot water and the person the, the person behind the counter guys was miserable and it was taken out as miserable on everybody else that was in that line I, and I picked up on it but I was like let me just see what happens I already knew what was going to happen I said I'm going to ask for a cup of hot water and a person tried to put me in, a, in their inferno of miserability by taking all day just to fix me a cup of hot water and doing all this extra stuff instead of just getting me my hot water. Do you think a person would just be trying to get you out of the line? Okay, all you want is hot water? Okay, let me get you. No, they're there. They're, 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 they're trying to lasso you. they bringing you into their, to their inferno of miserability. That's why you gotta be careful. You go somewhere, you don't like the employees, don't go there no more. You got a lot of choices, you know what I'm saying? Don't go there no more. But this, this, this chick purposely weighed all, and, and a lot of these people, I'm telling y'all, man, I used to work at a Starbucks in the airport. Guys, let me tell y'all how long this girl took me, took, First of all, I end up just walking out. Since she wanted to make me miserable, I just I said, "Well, I'm just going to I'm just going to walk out." I just told her forget it, but I said it really takes you that long to fix somebody a cup of hot water. There's only three people in line, guys. And I tip. And she knows I tip, but she didn't care. That's why I brought up that end time move. She didn't care that, I, that I'm a tipper. It wasn't about money. She's just a miserable, miserable. So, Nah, money does not save a miserable person. That's why they say misery loves company. But as long as she took to make one drink, guys, when I worked in the airport, I would have, I would have, 12 people would have had their stuff. I'm talking about lattes, coffees, caramel macchiato, all that junk. And you can tell when somebody's behind there that uh, they don't like their job and taking it out on everybody else. You can ask that person for a spoon. It'll be right in front of them. They're like, well, let me, let me fix these people, their 10, let me fix these 10 drinks before I hand you your spoon, even though it's right in front of them. That's the type of shit they do. This ain't gonna be long, guys. About to close it out. I like when it's cloudy outside. I do. I'm not even gonna lie, y'all. I like when it's cloudy. Something about when it's cloudy that makes me really happy. I'm not even gonna lie. To I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. I like cloudy days. It's something about when the sun is out all the time. I like the sun too, but. When, but Sometimes the sun be out too much to a point like, okay, I don't like all this sun because it's like a, it's like an illusion. 
all this wickedness going on and the sun's out there shining <laughs> shining like that <laughs> you know but I like, I like it sometimes though There are people out there who think I had the greatest life in the world because I'm, you know, I'm walking around with a smile on my face. But the reason I walk around with a smile on my face is because I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, uh, try not to hurt. I'm trying not to hurt people out here. So I got to put myself in that, in that mode. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, this girl took, uh, she took all day to give me, she didn't, she didn't want to give me she wants to purposely make me mad and not give me my cup of hot water, y'all. Even though I tip every day and she knows who I am. Matter of fact, I became her uh, number one target. So I said I just left and got some cu cup of hot water. But yeah, you want to get some detox tea, guys? If you don't love yourself, you're not going to love nobody else. That's why I don't take it personal with people, with people we doing out here. Just move on, you know? I find out a lot though, like a lot of workers that be going to these places, God worked so many places. I used to do four times as much. Four times. And some people say, well, that's stupid. But the thing about me, guys, is that I, I like staying busy. So it wasn't like I was being stupid about it. I just like I like staying busy. That's why I was a bartender so long. You know, I work working at the airport, man, yo. You lucky when you got a break when you're working at the airport. You know what I'm saying? You lucky. But yeah, y'all, it don't, it don't matter, man. When you're miserable, it don't matter if you've got, uh, unless you're uh, poor or rich, it don't matter. Miserable people, they're just plain miserable. And the only way out of miserability is you got to love yourself. So, if I was trying to help somebody get out of being miserable, I, well, y'all know I like to talk about diet and stuff. I think diet has a lot to do with it, man. If you eating stuff, man, especially a lot of animal products and stuff like that, you're not going to really feel too good about yourself. I can tell y'all that for real. Like, you know, your body, you got to be putting in a lot of green stuff, a lot of green vegetables, life. You got to be putting life in your body. How you expect not to be miserable? You putting all this death in your body. It's funny because I don't have to come here on YouTube smiling at you guys and laughing. Y'all can hear it in the vibration of my voice that I'm not miserable. You can hear it. You can literally hear it in the vibration of my voice. So whether I'm talking to you guys serious or I'm laughing, y'all y'all can hear about the vibration of my voice that I'm not I'm not miserable. Now some people want to know how do I get myself in that space, even though all this stuff is going. I mean, you turn on the TV. That's why I'm glad I don't want you turn on TV. It's nothing but bad news. This place is sick. It's really a battle to get yourself out of miserability. But anyway, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna stay with y'all. I just want to tell y'all that, man. I don't. It don't matter, man. That's the big lesson I've learned. It don't matter if you got a lot of money or you poor. If you're miserable, you're gonna be miserable. I'll holler at y'all later. All right, peace.